Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Joe Fix It Hulk Build a Figure Wave Falcon figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs don't know about. It. Six figures in a wave, you're going to need all six figures to complete the Joe Fix-It Builder figure. And a quick look at the artwork on the side of the box, it is the same on both sides. And there's a quick frontal view. Alright, let's get this bad boy open and see what's what. So we finally got an updated modern Falcon. I believe this is the sixth Falcon in the life of the Marvel Legends line. We had two in the Toy Biz days. A classic sort of old school look and then a variant with a more modern look at the time. And then we got two from the MCU. I think we got one that was single carded and one that was packed in with Bucky or Winter Soldier if you will. Then we got him in his Captain America uniform but wasn't really complete because we didn't get a set of wings with that particular figure and now we have him in his own uniform and his own look like I said a modern look here this is sort of the look he was sporting around the time that uh, Civil War was on I guess a little bit before Civil War through Civil War and then after Civil War and the death of Captain America he changed up his outfit just a little bit and uh, he went with these short sleeves instead of the long sleeves I think the gauntlets were no longer there but again I do think this is a look that a lot of people wanted Falcon was first introduced by Stan Lee in Captain America number 117 in September of 1969. This was pretty much at the height of the civil rights movement and the fact that Captain America was literally fighting Nazis the two just kind of went hand in hand. He's been a reoccurring character or a sidekick to Captain America since the 60s. He's been a member of the Avengers and then he's even taken on the mantle of Captain America and led the Avengers at some point. He's got a pretty rich extensive history. Falcon is an expert tactician and strategist. He's a martial artist, fluent in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he also has a telepathic and empathic link with all birds, but he has a pet bird named Red Wing, which they did not include. We did get one in the old Toy Biz days. I think I may still have him. I'll break him out if I do, but that was one of the things that was missing from the package with him here. He was, however, packed in with some of the necessities. Out of the package, he had two fists attached, but he was also packed in with two open hands with the fingers close to Together. The thumbs are tucked in. These obviously can be utilized to simulate flight with his other accessory, which are his wings. And these come in the package in four parts, similar to how the wings attach to the vulture figure, except it seems like these have a, a better, more secure attachment. And they attach at two parts. One, uh, the smaller piece attaches under his uh, bicep, and the longer piece attaches to the forearm. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in the early days, his wings were more of an apparatus, like a mechanical sort of thing but later on in the more modern days it was more like a energy effect of some sort and they would almost completely disappear when he didn't need them so that would allow him to move around and fight and what have you and then he would only dispense them when needed for flight I'd like to think that it's less flapping of the wings with the more modern wings and more of like a propulsion sort of system <laughs> So yeah, that looks great. You know, aside from the Avengers, he's been a part of S.H.I.E.L.D., Defenders for a Day, Heroes for Hire, the Mighty Avengers, Avengers Unity Squad, and then he's had a lot of team-ups with Bucky or Winter Soldier and Black Widow. In fact, after Civil War, the uh, Ed Brubaker run on Captain America featured Falcon heavily. Winter Soldier at the time had actually taken over the mantle of Captain America. I think he switched over from his Winter Soldier persona to the new Bucky Cap look and like issue 33 or 34 and that's basically what sparked the actual Marvel Legends Bucky Cat figure and the Bucky Cat mold which we can't get away from all the way here in 2020. Meanwhile that Ed Brubaker run was like in 2005 if I'm not mistaken. But kind of light on the accessories unfortunately I would have liked to see an unmasked head. Also somebody else mentioned the bearded look for Sam which would have been really cool. Maybe some different hands some open hands with the fingers kind of spread and a of course, like I mentioned, it would have been nice to get a Red Wing figure. I assume that we are going to get a couple of more different Falcon figures down the line and that they will give us some deluxe Falcon or retro carded Falcon. Being that we're going to see Falcon and Bucky and the Disney Plus show,
show. I'm going to see a lot more of the MCU version and this next phase of Marvel. So I don't see why they wouldn't give us more comic based looks for Falcon as well. Happy to have this updated character in the collection, but to be real, I never was a big fan of Falcon. I've never really been a big fan of non powered superheroes, honestly. Although I guess you could consider his telepathic and empathic link with the birds a power. While I do really like the articulation for this buck, I do feel like they could have picked something that was a little larger in the chest and legs. I don't know. Oftentimes he's drawn as just as buff or big as Captain America, and I think that this is kind of slender for him. At least they didn't choose the Bucky Cat mold, though. We got the butterfly joints, so you know, you need that for a character that can take flight. Let's see what happens when I get Captain America up here and see how they look. So I'm not going to waste time going over the articulation. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, Spider-Man 2099 buck. Standard articulation you would get on the male buck for a Marvel Legends figure. So a few quick size comparisons, a little blast from the past. You know I always got to dig in the crates for some of these reviews. So here are the two original Toy Biz Falcon figures. On the far left is the first regular release of the classic Falcon, which I wouldn't mind getting as an update dated new Hasbro Marvel Legends figure but you can see how both of these look extremely awful and then a more modern look but still old school again both of these are toy biz versions you could not remove the wing attachments you see how awkwardly sculpted these figures are great articulation but just terrible sculpts and then on the far right is the Falcon cap which again was incomplete because we never got the wings with this guy we saw a lot of customizers do their own things shape ways and different people do wings for this guy. I never actually picked up any of the custom ones, but again, talking about his particular stature, his frame, this newer version of Falcon is still a little slender in comparison to the Falcon cap on the right. I wish they would have went with a frame that was a little more bulkier. And for the record, I don't have any of the MCU Falcon figures, but here he is next to his two wave mates, Iron Man on the far right, Captain America on his right, on our left, and then I had Logan available here. And then here's the comparison that matters. You can see him right next to the 80th anniversary Captain America and again I do feel like Sam should be just a little larger I don't know how I really feel about this particular buck and then right next to Sam is Black Widow this is the ultimate riders version that came with a motorcycle and this would be the proper costume to match up with the winter soldier that we got in the crimson dynamo wave and if we get another updated Falcon with the short sleeves then those three would go together again that would be post Civil War era and then some Somebody had asked me about the unmasked head that came with the atmosphere Iron Man from this wave on the 80th anniversary Iron Man body and the head is popped all the way on the peg there kind of looks a little funny losing a little bit of the neck probably best to kind of half it on the peg for it to look better but it looks good yeah there it is just kind of sitting on the peg there I think that looks a little better and this looks good too this is the unmasked Captain America head that came with the stealth Captain America from this wave it is popped all the way on the peg egg that looks very good. All right, quick and painless. I'm getting up out of here. Definitely one I would recommend, but definitely not one of my favorites out of the wave. I do think that he could have been better with maybe one or two extra accessories, but I do really wish that they would have put him on a bulkier buck. Still, this is one that you need to pick up if you want to complete the Joe Fix-It Hulk build a figure. And so get out there, get on the hunt. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down there. And until next time, peace. Crispy.